What's on the go guys? Uh, Sunday here, Sunday afternoon. And I uh, hope you're all having a good day. I'm out in the woods. I'm actually picking out a new site where next weekend me and uh, a good buddy of mine are gonna come out and we're gonna pitch the canvas tent and uh, spend at least one night in it. Hopefully two, so. I found a nice spot just off to the side of the fire pit. Nice flat site. So that's a success. I hope everyone's enjoying the series so far. Uh, the Through the Newfoundland Wilderness episodes. I got two on the channel so far. So if you haven't seen those, uh, I'll have a link at the end of this video where you can go to them or you can just go to my channel and you'll see episode one and episode two. Uh, thanks for all the feedback, all the comments. I really appreciate it and glad you're all enjoying it. And so is old Saku. And we can't forget beer. Beer would have been there, uh, but beer had to stay home with her mom and keep her company while I was gone. So God love her for that. Uh, so the third episode is going to come out next week. Not quite sure on the day, guys. Uh, I'm thinking maybe Friday, but I might try a different time, uh, maybe Sunday afternoon, and see how that works out. Just to maybe uh, you know target a different group of people who watch it then. And of course, all you subscribers will still, you know, be able to watch it anytime, but I might mix it up there. So I'm just going to go over, actually, I was just sitting around, I was, I wanted to have a, just a quick chat, nothing serious, but uh, I wanted to go through some of the items I take out with me. Just a quick day, day pack here. I don't got a whole lot. Uh, you know, just, you, one thing you'll learn about me pretty quick is that... I just take gear that gets the job done. I'm not a real big, as I've said before, big gear guy. And uh, you know, I, I, I take with what I need and, and what works. But uh, I mean, I don't really sort this out too often. I just fire things in before I go. Uh, some items always stay in this little bag. This is just a new one I got. My father gave it to me. Again, nothing fancy. But uh, I fire some stuff in. Some things stay in there. And other things I'll take out when I get home and maybe swap in new things for depending on what I'm doing on my next hike, or, or snowshoe, or ski, or whatever I'm doing. But, uh, so the only thing really in there now is food. This is just the pots I got. I mean, these are the same pots uh, I've been using for years now. I got my kettle there heating up over the fire. That's a Chinook kettle. It's like 850 milliliters. Uh, this is just an MSR pot. Came with two pots. But one of those pots is the one I lost on the Newfoundland trip, and you'll, you'll hear me talking about that in episode one. But uh, the pot and the lid, of course, the lid acts as a frying pan, and I have taken this on most of my, you know, short and longer expeditions. Comes with a nice little case to keep them in, and basically I just put the kettle in here, and then slip it into this little pouch, and good to go. So I got, uh, you know, besides that, I don't got much here today. Just enough to get me by. I got my teacup. Uh, I have my Scandinavian forest axe, Grandfurs and Brooks. Uh, Brooks, whatever, however you pronounce it. So I got this one with me. Nice axe, some good weight to it, and, you know, it gets... Again, it gets the job done. Had that one for a couple years. I also have a lighter Frisker's X, uh, just a shorter hatchet, and that's lightweight. And it also gets the job done, so sometimes I take that one. A lot of people out here now are using this uh, Agawa Canyon. I believe it's a 21 inch blade. You know, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, I can't remember, but nice saw. Uh, it's uh, it breaks down, folds up into one kind of piece, like so. Snaps in, nice and portable, easy to carry around. Good for cutting up bigger logs. I brought my 22 along today. It's just a little badger is what it's called. And a little 22 rifle. Rabbit season is still ongoing here in Newfoundland till 
about March 10th, I do believe. So if I see a rabbit along the way, try to secure a meal. Not often I see rabbits moving like that. I usually have better luck in my snares, which I had a few out earlier in the year and got three. But uh, I don't usually see too many on the move. But I take the 22 just in case. There's also uh, coyotes around and even some wolves. Uh, although they're few and far here in Newfoundland, but they're, they are around. And uh, so it's always nice to have a little bit of protection too. Uh, you never know.